Hello and welcome. My name is Shane Severe. Uh, this is my CITC capstone final presentation. Um, so, while working of Tractor Supply, uh, which is who I was interning under, uh, it's given me a lot of time to think about the company. Uh, I'm going to start by talking about their strengths and weaknesses. Um, Tractor has a strong history. Uh, it's been business for over 80 years. Uh, matter of fact, it celebrated its 80th anniversary this year. Um, it also has a lot of great people. It is one of the few and biggest companies headquartered in the greater Nashville, Tennessee area. Uh, Tractor also has record-breaking growth. Um, it has opened over 250 stores within the past three years with a total standing of 1,700 stores uh, within 49 states in the United States. Um, the weaknesses of Tractor Supply, I think, are those that I think are a problem for just about any major company um, and that's just the executives put a lot of uh, pressure on the upper management and are you know asking for things that uh, are likely not going to be completed and um, or at least not could be completed well um, you know as they'd want to do um, touching on my own personal strengths by um, working with tractor supply uh, you know at least working with my mentor Adam uh, he's made it sound like uh, I would make a good technical analyst um, and as a technical analyst I believe that would be a job I would like uh, just from what I've read online as far as what they do um, my biggest weakness I think doing this job uh, I was just coming into the program late I uh, was not something I was expecting to take on the semester uh, but I saw the opportunity to come up to work with tractor supply and I figured hey now is as good as time as any and I'm glad I did it, um, but it has been rough. Uh, a lot of uh, work I was not prepared for. Um, so the hardest thing I think has been prioritizing on uh, what's important to work on and um, being able to keep up with everything. Uh, time management usually is a problem for me, but for this project, it has been difficult. Um, speaking of difficulties, my biggest challenge with tractor supply, uh, I think has been finding a topic to research on consistently and uh, one that would also benefit the company. Uh, and at this point, I think we've decided to work on mobile checkout. Um, we believe it's gonna be probably the emerging technology that is more likely going to serve tractor supply uh, in the closer future. Um, as far as things I wish I would have done differently before coming here, um, I definitely feel like I could have made a better impression for this company. Uh, had I had some more coding knowledge, um, you know, up front I wasn't really sure what all we were going to be doing, uh, but definitely if I had some more coding background, I definitely think I could have made a better footprint on this company. Um, so because of that, I have mostly been doing research, uh, which has been good. Uh, it's definitely opened up my eyes to um, a lot more work that I could be doing. Um, as far as what I learned um, through the classroom, uh, to what I was bringing able to bring to this internship, um, again, because mostly what I was doing was research, uh, not a lot. Uh, probably the best thing would be note-taking skills, uh, which are definitely important, uh, whatever occupation you're in. Um, this internship has definitely enlightened me. Uh, it's definitely, I think, going to open up some doors for me, uh, ideally if in tractor supply, if not if in tractor supply. Um, I think other employers will, you know, be able to see that, hey, you got to work with tractor, so... Um, I'm definitely hoping that's going to work out for me in the long run. Um, and I've enjoyed doing this. Um, it's been a really great place to work, um, even if I wasn't getting paid. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I, I definitely think this is going to be uh, a good stepping stone to get me where I want to be. Um, now to touch on what I think the ideal candidate needs to possess uh, in order to you know, really excel in this position, uh, is they're probably going to need to be available at least 15 hours a week. Um, you know, I was there 15 hours a week and I still don't feel like that was enough to get me, uh, where I would have preferred to be. Um, so someone definitely needs to have a good amount of spare time that they can put into working here. Uh, if they really want to do well, uh, as far as the tri attributes, uh, candidates going to want, uh, they're, they're going to need a great attitude, number one, uh, you know, history of strong work ethic, 
uh, serious about being able to multitask projects. Um, they need to be open-minded and willing to see, uh, you know, all the other ways that other people might work. Um, they need to communicate well with others. Uh, they also need to be a self-starter, be self-motivated. Um, and definitely, I think, if they have some coding experience, that is going to make a whole lot of difference in this internship. Um, to answer the final question of this presentation, um, I do believe this internship has solidified my career focus. Um, I definitely still want to remain in the realm of IT. Uh, experiencing this internship has brought me a lot more confidence towards my career path and letting me know that I think I made the right choice. Um, wanting to pursue the degree I'm pursuing right now. Um, it, it's definitely shown me that within the IT world, uh, networking is everything. Um, it, it definitely matters who you know. There's some <clears throat> positions I applied for that uh, without the assistance of some of the colleagues I've met through Adam, uh, I, I don't think I'd even be able to get my foot in the door some places, so that is very important. Um, it's, it's definitely also got me into the door of understanding how a company works uh, at an upper management level, you know, what their priorities are, what they're concerned about. Um, so it's been great to be introduced to that on an enterprise level. Um, and ultimately I feel privileged to have been offered this opportunity. Um, and it was great to be for there, uh, with a company like Tri Supply, uh, even if it was only a short amount of time. And, um, even after this is over, I still would like to continue to research merging technologies and how I and others can utilize them to bring us a better and more efficient future. And uh, that concludes my presentation. Um, thanks for watching.